with another installment Hello. of My Stylish Life. This is the interior design podcast that is all about giving tips and advice to help mm -hmm. you live life more stylishly. stylishly yeah. So my name is Linda and Hi. I'm here with Bridget, I'm Bridget, interior designer extraordinaire. So today um, we want to just talk about um, how to maximize small mm. spaces, yes. right? How to make small spaces appear larger. Yes. I mean, I think generally in South Africa, we're very blessed to be able to live. We are. Generally speaking on properties with yard space and generally having like larger square meterage we and do. stuff. But I mean, if you do happen to live in an apartment or a small house, mm. um, yeah, space can be a yes. challenge and yeah. they are amazing ways that we can use um design and interiors and and furniture pieces to kind of i guess create the illusion hmm. of space even you though can. there isn't really yeah i think that's the biggest takeaway from this that we can now delve into is mm -hmm. that you don't have to bash down walls um to create space mm -hmm. um we can certainly create the illusion of more space through certain elements. Mm. So that's great for, um, you know, people listening. If potentially you don't own a house, maybe you rent. So mm. therefore you cannot do anything structural, yeah. um, but you're feeling like, you know, you're wanting to increase um, the feeling of space. Mm. Um, also, like we said, if your home is um, smaller, um, yeah, these are some great tips for you to take away. Mm, um, absolutely. Or specifically even a room. If like, let's just say, and let's like not even talk about a house it's mm. just you know break it down so say your dining room is feeling small mm. these are some things that you can maybe look at that might just enhance the that feeling, that of, feeling space. of space absolutely yeah absolutely so what's first on the list okay so the first on the list is curtains okay okay so sure i could talk about uh, this topic um quite a lot Just curtains. yeah it's like one of <laughs> bridges like five top most topics curtains okay. would be one of them okay. because it is such a game changer if you do curtains properly it is a complete game changer to an interior okay. so transformative so the big secret guys this is the big insider secret is you need to hang your curtains from the underside of your ceiling to the floor. Mm. Okay. Mm. That creates the illusion of your heart. Mm. Okay. Mm. So a lot of what happens is in people's homes, they will put the curtain rod or the track about right above the right window above frame. the window well yeah yes. traditionally that's what you're doing because you're just trying mm. i think you know what homes have always generally been functional right mm. a lot of people think functionally mm. about this thing is supposed to give me privacy and mm. darkness at night. So all it needs to do is cover that square. Yes. But for the purposes of creating the illusion of space, yes. what does that height do to it's, the space? It's such a game changer. Mm. So we, your eye suddenly feels like it, your your heart mm. is, is higher. Mm. You know, there's mm. more volume in that space. The other thing about curtains is like say now you have a big window or door opening on a wall instead of hanging the curtains just on either side of that door what is better is to try and go if if permitting i mean look we have to look at the space mm. but doing a wall to wall mm -hmm. so wall to wall floor to ceiling I promise you right now, your room will not look the same. I find so, that so like... Write that down. What is it? Like almost like a magic trick to me. Because, it is a magic because trick. Because in my mm. mind, that much fabric covering a space, you would think makes it feel stiflingly mm -hmm. smaller. Mm. But actually, it mm. does the opposite. Yes. Yes. Ooh, complete opposite. Wizardry. I love it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So yeah, that would be the one big thing. And then what I do want to say is, I mean, look... Obviously, not everyone has the budget to do a custom-made curtain. Okay. But then, are you going to find? Well, some retailers mm -hmm. are now doing longer-length longer curtains. Length. So that's what I would say. Just do your homework. Mm -hmm. Look out there for a longer length. Or buy a standard curtain and add on at the bottom what we call like a border, right? A border. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So you could have your... Uh, 
cost effective curtain mm, mm. and then add on a piece perhaps in a contrast color yeah, wh- or whatever the or contrast yeah. yes a contrast texture um that will also that provide idea. you know that's like a little cost effective trick i mm, would say mm. but curtains absolute game changer and then if we're really wanting to take it one step further maximizing light Mm. through your window or door Mm. is obviously really going to help because the lighter the space in in this case it it is actually going to create more space yes so if you had a sheer curtain you know so Mm. when we talk a sheer that is something you can see through it doesn't have to be completely see-through we're talking about like just a little a little bit of Hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it can be a linen, it can be a voile. And also, what about the color of the curtains? I mean, um, there was something I think you'd mentioned at some point about matching them to the color of the wall as yes. far as possible. Because obviously the darker yes. the curtain, the heavier yes. it's going to feel, yes. the heavier it's going to make the room feel, or the darker it's going to make the room sure. feel. So a lighter color curtain. Yes, I would say I would say we would try and like not create contrast. Yeah. Obviously, if we're working with space, you know, I personally love creating a bit of contrast. Mm. But if we're working with a really um, smaller space, I would try and just not, yeah, try and blend it in, mm. the wall mm. color with your curtain color, because it is just going to create the illusion of more space fantastic yeah okay next on the list of key things Mm. for space creators or illusion of Mm -hmm. space creators Mirrors. Mirrors, exactly. Yeah. I, I think I think I think everyone knows this one. Yeah. So yeah. yes, definitely we add more mirrors. Mm-hmm. That's obviously going to reflect um whatever it is in 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 that room, creating mm. more space. Mm. So there are so many great mirrors on the market. Um, big floor standing mirrors. I personally love a floor standing mirror. Okay. Um, whether it's arched whether it is a traditional, you know, rectangular shape, I think a floor standing mirror can really provide some drama to a space. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think traditionally a long time ago, they were perhaps only used in like maybe a dressing room yeah. or a bedroom for you to like stand, you know, check out your fits. <laughs> but um, now we're using them all over the home. Yeah. Um, we do, you know, big round ones above like entrance you know, console tables. Yeah. Um, you can even in your dining room. I mean, I think there's a fallacy that, oh, do you really want to see people's reflection eating? Well, yeah. yeah you know what yeah, I mean? Whatever. I think, I think all those things are a bit outdated. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. You can have so, a mirror anywhere. Mm, anyway. people have mirrors on the ceiling of no, their bedrooms. Well, there we go. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. So, mirrors, yes, you really yes. can have them anywhere. Yes. But in terms of placement in rooms, does does it make a room appear larger if the mirror is maybe like, against a wall but on the corner is there any kind of placement trickery about where the mirror yeah. is hanging that makes the room bigger or yes. it doesn't really matter no i think perhaps like what you said about putting it in the corner like if you are putting it flatly mm. near the corner of the room perhaps you're not going to get the full effect of the mirror mm. because you kind of you know sticking it a little bit in the corner mm-hmm. so yeah, perhaps that's not such a great idea. Um, mm. But other than that, I think kind of no rules. Mm. Um, just yeah, mirrors, groupings yeah. of mirrors, also great. Remember, you don't have to go and just do a big like mirror. One big one, so yeah. maybe again, if we're looking at someone who is maybe renting and perhaps it's a small apartment and you don't have a big budget, but you're wanting to do something that's both eye-catching as well as like enhancing space, you could do multiple little mirrors. Yeah. You know, like little, when I say little, like, you know, ruler size mm. mirrors. And you could do a grouping of them. And then that's kind of creating your interest as well as, you know, be reflecting quite a lot. Exactly. So just exactly. another idea. Also, yeah. mirrors can be functional as well in a way. Oh, absolutely. I remember... Um, Bridget, I I am a former client of Bridget mm-hmm. as well as being mm-hmm. her friend and co-host. Um, but one of the things that you had done for us was those gorgeous gold oh. um, round yes. mirrors that doubled as tea light candle holders. Yes. I really I'm going to share amazing. that photo. Those are also mm. little mirrors, and you yes. cluster them to create yes, an effect. Yes, we created a huge and, effect, um, and mm. then they also doubled as those those tea light candle holders. 
such beautiful ambience that it creates and also that reflecting the space back to give that illusion of even a, a larger space. So yes. I think yes. that's also fantastic. The yes. cluster, the cluster. I'm going effect. to share that photo if that's okay. Liz, yeah, of because course. that mirror course, installation <laughs> I loved and it's I loved gorgeous. that those were candle holders. Yeah. 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 It was really fantastic. Okay. So next on our list of must do's for creating space. I never thought about this one. Mm. Leggy furniture. Leggy furniture, yes. <laughs> I love the word leggy. Yes. Leggy furniture. Yes. Okay. So, so what do we mean by okay. leggy furniture? So let's unpack this. Basically, if you think about it, furniture that will go straight to the ground kind of is a little bit more bulkier. Bulkier. Yeah, and a little bit more boxier. So mm. that's going to appear... It will physically it is going to take up more room but mm. your eyes going to pick it up as well so as soon as we start using leggy furniture so like let's say your sofa it's on legs mm. um obviously your other chairs would also all be on legs you literally are creating space yeah, yeah. because those things are coming up They're off the elevated, ground exactly. and then you've got that space then above and below yes so it's your, not eye like gets, this your eye density. gets to travel yeah yes it's not this density on Yes. directly on the floor yes so we that. don't want furniture sitting on the floor i think yeah. that's fantastic we and want that's to everything it. from uh, consoles to couches yes. to coffee, coffee tables, tables. No. exactly exactly oh. so yeah that would be a big kind of when when shopping um for a space and you're wanting to create more space look for leggy furniture mm. big tip Love yeah. it, love it, love yeah. it, love it. And then, okay, also the other one that I hadn't considered before is um, angling things in a room, sort of rearranging things and yes. things not necessarily yes. being all against the wall. Yes, yes. So if we move stuff away from the wall and like slightly at an angle, we're creating an illusion of space. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just a little mantra, call it that. Yeah. <laughs> and it really, it really helps. Um, so putting things at an angle, I mean, maybe you have a couch, a sofa and two chairs. If the chairs are sitting at angles mm. and not all kind straight of boxed and straight, so mm. like a traditional square kind of situation, mm. you are actually creating more space. Um, That's another visually. mind trick for me in my yeah. mind because, again, when you're thinking about trying to create as much space as possible, everything must be against yes. the wall to yes, kind yes, of create, yes, yes. Space, to create in the space in the middle. But actually, the minute you angle it, yeah. some might argue then, then you're creating negative space. For example, if I have a couch against here and then I need to angle it on that corner, then I'm creating that triangle behind it. But then mm. again, you can add a plant there. I you suppose. can add a plant, you can add a standing lamp. Yeah. Love a standing lamp. Mm. Um, they're really just, I mean, from a lighting perspective, they mm. are so great in an interior. But yeah, plant, maybe a mirror mm. is, you know, behind there. Yeah. Um, yeah, there are lots of opportunities. So mm. I would just consider playing around with your furniture placement mm. and not putting it in. Um, you know, the traditional kind of square. And then while we're actually on this topic of furniture, um, something else that I would like to just add as a little tip is when looking, so we've spoken about the leggy furniture and now the placement, but something to consider is instead of like a coffee table, like one coffee table, perhaps consider looking for smaller elements that you can group. Okay. So for instance, instead of one round coffee table you would go for like three little occasional stools okay so that in itself and then that acts as your coffee table mm, mm. obviously what's great is something like that is flexible because you can break them apart exactly. use the side tables an extra seat even as you yeah. may yeah. you know so kind of think about multifunctionality mm. and also what i like about that is, is it's not just Boom, big item. Boom, another big item. Yes, yes. You're just breaking it up Getting a little something bit. something modular that you can just Yes, like, yeah, modular yeah. furniture. Sure, that is actually a great topic. To actually, <laughs> <laughs> if okay. you want to go down that, that road. <laughs> we because, will pick yeah, that. Do you feel like perhaps there's an opportunity for us in South Africa to play a little bit more around with modular, with modular furniture? furniture? I know mm. like in the States, quite, there's quite a market there for like modular furniture. Where, like, I've seen things like yes. those videos where like whole dining room tables collapse into That's what like I'm a saying. wall. Yes. Or and a like a sofa can like unpack and then there's like a hidden coffee table within the one thing. It's all very interesting. Yeah. And 
in South Africa, we don't explore. We that don't much. really explore that. Again, maybe it's because we do have the luxury of potentially more space. Yeah, but what about availability? Also, I think we've got to think yes. harder because these things aren't readily available on mm. on showroom floors necessarily. Yes, you must now think harder about. And be more intentional about finding and looking for those things or maybe getting them custom made and that sort of thing. Yes. So yes. I think yes. maybe that's where our challenge might be. But I've seen things definitely online. Yeah, I think it's quite exciting. I, I know, mean, right? Yeah, clever, maybe there's a good furniture. opportunity here yeah, for us to um, play around with um, releasing some for modular because hey. that that would be great in a in a small space something absolutely. multifunctional so absolutely. yeah perhaps just think about that mm. also when furnishing your space um you know can it be a stool mm. can it be a table mm. something what other uses plans. could this this piece have yes yeah yeah okay then now let's talk about um color scheme um in your space how does color scheme affect how big or how small a room feels yeah i mean look there's quite a lot of like stuff out there mm. articles about you know staying away from dark colors in small spaces is it a good idea a bad idea um i will say possibly a sticking to a lighter palette is a better idea mm. and mm. not to create too much drama or contrast mm -hmm. um just because i think if you're looking at something more tonal so we call it tonal mm. when that Things Everything. are all in yeah, the similar color similar palette. Similar colors, okay. exactly. So you're sticking to more tonal. There's nothing that's going to like kind of jar the eye too much. Mm. Um, and I do think that in itself creates more space. I don't think it's like a crisis, for instance, if you have a dark wall. Mm. Um, I don't think it's as dramatic as people make it sound that, oh, you're going to paint one dark wall, your room's going to appear tiny. I don't think it's that dramatic. Okay. But I would say potentially stick to a lighter palette and potentially something with not bold patterns. Okay. Um, you know, smaller patterns and textures will be better. Again, it's just more harmonious on the eye. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yeah, and all of that will do is just create more visual space. Yeah, and I think also the the positive knock-on of that is that you are, by not going for those bold patterns and, you know, those sorts of things, you are also creating more timelessness in your space. Oh, absolutely. Right? And, you know, I, I just like disclaimer, it's not boring. Mm. <laughs> Tonal spaces are extremely classic. Yeah and um beautiful and i do think that they also i, I mean i don't like saying it's a trend mm. because you know we're not a slave to trends here at my stylish life um <laughs> but yeah it, 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 you, you are seeing a lot more of kind of harmonious tonal um and neutral color mm. palettes mm. and you can see there it's harmonious because there's not a lot of contrast within them yeah. and that's calming and it does appear more spacious. Um, so yeah, for me, I don't think it's boring. I think it's very classy and um, like we said, timeless to explore something like that. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Just interesting. The one pattern that actually does create space that you can play around with is actually a stripe. A stripe, yes. yeah. So think yeah. about it on your outfits. I mean, you know, we say, oh, sometimes horizontal stripes can make you look, look wider. wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, perhaps not so forgiving. <laughs> um, so think about that now on a rug. Okay. Actually, horizontal, a striped rug can make a room look wider. I suppose the, so, the way that it does to your body, yes, it can do the same yes. to so, your space, which is what you want in your space. Yes, that's yeah. what we want. So Not that's bodies, another please. like top <laughs> tip. If you're shopping for a rug and your space is smaller and you're just wanting to create the illusion of space, go for a striped, striped rug. rug. Yeah, it's definitely going to kind of create that illusion. Fantastic. Yes. And we love a good rug. We yes. love, love good rugs. Rug. Again, <laughs> uh, I do actually think that we need to unpack this more, what I would call game changers mm. in mm. Um, interiors. Fantastic. And we'll get rugs are definitely on that list mm. along with curtains mm. Um, mm. and lighting. Um, but yeah, rugs are great. So definitely something that we can talk a lot more about 
Awesome, awesome. Yeah. I think then um, I want to kick into our uh, design conundrums yes. at this point and um, listen to voice notes. Guys, if you have a design conundrum yeah. or a question that them. you want to ask us, please feel free to either mm. message us on our social medias, either with a text message or a voice note. Mm -hmm. We like voice notes. We like hearing from you. Um, and just pose your question and mm. we will try our best to answer it here on My Stylish Life. So Cool. Yeah. Let's go we into have it. a voice note. Hi Bridget, I've got a question for you, hoping you can help me solve my problem. I've got a lounge kitchen area that's um, quite a big room that's got a bit of an echoey sound to it. What can I do to the finishes of the floors? What would you recommend that helps get rid of the echoiness of a room? Thanks. I feel like I know your answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is she saying? She has an echoey room. Is yes. it a kitchen? Or she, was she just, said she it's an specific. open plan kitchen okay. going into her lounge mm. and it's feeling a bit echoey. What can she do? Okay, so number one is a rug. A rug. I knew you were going to say a rug. <laughs> Guys, this is where you want, this is what a rug will do to your space. It's going to be transformative. Mm. So you definitely need a rug. And I just want to say when shopping for rugs, you need to go for big rugs. Yeah. Okay. So obviously you need to look at your space. And the rule of thumb is we want to try and get all of your furniture onto, onto a rug. Mm. So we don't want furniture and then... Rug inside. Yes, and rug inside. That's not how you do it. Um, okay. your, your rug needs to actually fit that space well yeah. so that at least part of your furniture is touching it. Is touching okay. the rug. And again, sure, so many options. Yeah. Um, Does it matter if the rug is shaggy or flat no. in terms of being able to reduce no. echo Look, echoing? Anything that's soft is going to help absorb sound. Yes. Um, so I don't think it really matters what kind, whether you want to go for like a natural fiber, like mm. a jute or hemp or shaggy. Okay. Um, I just want to say that rug that we did in your TV room when we did your house. The marshmallow the rug. The marshmallow rug. Oh, guys. I want to die for. That rug is like <laughs> goals. I think it is like high up there on the list of like the my most coveted ever. Like 100%. Yeah, you just want caveat, to take shoes off. Caveat. Yeah. It is not for high traffic areas, okay? <laughs> so also think about that when you are putting a rug down. And you See, now yes. this is turning into a rug episode, but yes. we're still answering the yes. question of echoing. Yes. But think about that when, depending yes. on the space mm -hmm. and, and, you know, where you need to put that rug, these the shaggier the rug or the more sensitive to traffic is, the, the more wear and tear it's yes, going to get. So if it is a space that is high traffic, then think about durability yes. for your rug. Yes. Um, but yeah, what else can, can diminish just, echo? Sorry, just to backtrack a sec there. Mm. So we talk, we spoke about durability. I just want to say you can get kitchen rugs. Okay, I've seen this. Have you seen this? I've seen yeah. this. And for me, yeah. I'm always like, yo, all the crumbs. All the crumbs. I mean, look, obviously, like <laughs> obviously, you're going to be cleaning that rug every day. All the it time. needs to go outside and yeah. have a good um, dust but off it does and look a vacuum. Nice. But yeah, I mean, those rugs are engineered with the right kind of material. Um, to kind of take a little bit more of a wheezing. Mm. And be like um, non-slip. Non-slip, easy mm. to clean. Um, so they are geared for like that higher traffic. Okay. okay. But something to also consider because, you know, it, sometimes we spend a lot of time in our kitchens mm. and a lot of them can, are like kind of what we call a runner. So it's a long, thin a long design. Run. Maybe it goes between your back counter and your island. So yes, um, to our listener, Maybe that's something if you wanted to put one in your kitchen as well. And then just going back to her question, um, I'm not quite sure if she has curtains in that space or not. Yeah. But um, curtains um, would also be a game changer. Um, curtains are great in absorbing sound mm. um, because of the way they also pleat, like the way they hang. Yeah, yeah. Um, that just absorbs noise, sound. Mm. sound. Um, you know what? It's got yeah. me thinking. Okay, so I, I do voiceovers as another mm. side mm. hustle, right? And I cannot think of anything more 
soundproofing or sound absorbing than um, pillows and cushions. Yes. yes I have yes, had yes, to yes. record. Okay. So I yeah. have like a mobile recording situation where I yeah. can record my voiceovers anywhere. And the best place for me to record is like between pillows. Oh, there we so go. So if I'm in a hotel <laughs> or wherever, or there's noise. I love that. Yes. So yeah. that will yes. suck up noise yes. like nothing Add else as well. a lot of scatters yeah. to your sofa. And I mean, look, we do like a grouping yeah. of scatters. You can't have just one or two guys. Not one you lonely need to one. Have, you need to have a lot. <laughs> and, we will give you some tips down the line on how to um how oh to that's do another episode chop. i see yeah, an yeah, episode yeah. of scatters yes, yes. We, we will discuss that but okay. yes great point we just want to soften the space so yeah. we need to add stuff that has fabric and soft elements mm. then the sound won't bounce mm. so fantastic I hope that answers your question mm. and please keep them coming guys mm. Absolutely, um, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think today. that does it for us for, mm. for this installment. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, yeah. My Stylish Life Podcast. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you soon. Thanks Bye. so much. Bye.